In Ohio, citizen soldiers train for urban combat, while snipers in Michigan practice with high-powered weapons. And their call to arms echoes across the internet. You have the right to keep and bear arms. Go out, buy a gun. It's all part of what the Southern Poverty Law Center calls a resurgence in the anti-government militia movement. A report out today claims 50 new militia training groups have sprung up in less than two years. And the right-wing extremists, historically motivated by a distrust of government, are now especially angry about the election of America's first African-American president. We've seen a real streak of racism injected into the movement, and I think the reason for that primarily is the idea that the enemy, the federal government, is headed by a black man. The report cites recent attacks carried out by lone wolf actors motivated by radical ideologies. Three Pittsburgh police officers killed by an avowed white supremacist. A Wichita doctor murdered by an anti-abortion rights protester. And a Holocaust Museum security guard gunned down by a Nazi sympathizer. Now law enforcement authorities are urging the public to be vigilant. If you have an individual who's uh, consistently talking about taking up arms against innocence, against government, that should be a clear red flag for people to take action. The report concludes the threat from radical groups and militias is not as great as it was in the 90s, a decade that brought the fiery standoff at Waco and the bombing of the Oklahoma City Federal Building. But officials say a sour economy, a Democrat-controlled government, and a black president present the kind of perfect storm that could further fuel the growth of the militia movement. Bob Orr, CBS News, Washington.